joined up here by the champion and of course uh, my partner, Lou Debella. I'm gonna not not like that, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna pass over to uh, the champion, Tevin Farmer, to say a few words and then we'll go to you guys for questions. Tevin. I ain't really got too much to say. I just want to thank all the media for um, coming out and supporting this fight. You know, y'all could have been at the other spot, you know, but y'all were here with us tonight, so thank y'all. Guys, questions for Tevin? Yeah. Tevin, I got a question for you. Uh, this is Hyman with All Access and Lee Bonson. Um, you know, Whoa. you fought a, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, you a tough, gritty fighter tonight. Uh, were you surprised uh, with anything as far as, uh, you know, his relentlessness and his coming forward? Uh, no, um, I got, somebody asked me that question earlier. I feel like at this level, no, don't nothing surprise me at the level. I feel like that's what they're supposed to do. At a world championship level, anybody coming into the ring and fighting for a world title is supposed to be that way. So I didn't expect that less than what he brought tonight. My follow-up question is how would you assess your performance tonight? I mean, I'm never going, I, I'm never going to be satisfied with my performance. I, I ask my trainers and they, they dictate that. Um, I can have the best performance of my life, and I'm going to still think that it's not the best performance. So, um, you can ask them. Yep. He's on some TV. Do you want JoJo Diaz? I was there in Las Vegas when you walked up on him. Yeah. And all that. Is that what that's for Tevin Fong? Um, I want a unification, for real, for real, to be honest. Um, I don't care what champion it is. But if I can't get that, I definitely want JoJo Diaz. I feel like he the next... Um, he the next big dog under the guy with the belts, and I want to fight the best. And it's hard to get them guys in the ring with me, so I definitely take um, JoJo if I can't get an unification fight. What's your beef with JoJo? Um, there ain't no beef, you know. People think they can beat me, so they gotta they gotta holler at me. Um, they talk trash on social media when I see them in person. I, I run down on them and see what see what the beef is about. But it ain't really no beef, you know. It's a it's a, it's a competitive sport. We all young and hungry, and we just want to see who the best. Uh, Tevin, so you got Tevin Farmer, Stephen Fulton, uh, J Rock, Julian Williams. T yeah. Talk to me about this resurgence of Philly boxing. Oh yeah, boxing I'm, I'm, I'm proud of my city. Um, everybody, a lot of people doubt Philly. You know, everybody know we have a lot of great fighters there, but a lot of fighters from Philly don't get to become um, champion of the world. So um, I'm proud of the guys we got. We got three of them. You know, J Rock hold about what three belts, and. Um, Salute to them, man. We doing our thing, and hopefully we can get more in the future. Yes, at the back. There's a fight with uh, Hank Davis possible. I know he fought tonight. He also won. He also done other stuff with Joshua Ruiz. He's a possible crossover into a tank fight. Yeah, we've made, I think, three offers now. So... He turned them down. Yeah, well, I don't think he even got to hear about him. Ah. Um, but if he did, I think he would have been very excited. And these but, are legitimate offers that you guys put on the table. No, they're just pre pretend ones I made up. <laughs> <laughs> and it never got to him. It never got to him. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like maybe I feel like maybe David really wants to fight, but you know sometimes they say um, in boxing you got to protect the fighter from themselves. You know we tough and we we won't quit. So I feel like that's that's part of the case in his um, in his case. He might want to fight, but his handlers know that he's not ready for it, and they're not gonna make it happen until they think that. Um, maybe I get old or something, but I'm still young. I'm young as hell. I started boxing at 19, and I'm not really taking punishment. So, so why are you not gonna give take that first zero? Say that again. Why you not gonna give take that first L? Man, you should already know. We've been going at it since 2014. And I, I just want to be the guy. I don't feel like um, I feel like if anybody else do it, it's not gonna be satisfaction to the fans. I feel like I have to be the one to do it. Back then, he was telling you to get a belt. Now you got a belt. You just defended it on yeah, your fourth told, defense. <laughs> he told me to get a belt back in 2017. He said get a belt. I got a belt. And then Floyd said, "Oh well, we worry about Tevin Farmer. Um, he a five figure fighter. Now I'm, I'm making seven figures, and it, it's still excuses. I got a belt. I, I defended it four times. I probably defended it more than him. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I think I did. I think I, I think I think I did. You know. And um, they keep saying. And you know, fans are biased too. They say, um, Tevin Farmer not fighting nobody. But then, if you fight once a year and you fight in top dog, they're going to say you're inactive. Then you fight more than, um, you fight three times or four times a year, but you fight well but step up to the plate, then they say you're jerry picking. So, um, You've defended it four times in nine months. Yeah. Uh, four defenses in nine months. And 
I fought for five world titles in less than a year, and nobody's doing it like me. I don't care who it is. Hey, by the way, I want to give I want to give Eddie some credit because when we made this deal, one thing Eddie promised Tevin and myself was that it was activity. He said, you know, we're going to keep you active and you will fight regularly. And four times in nine months, you know, he's delivered on what he promised. So thank well, you for that. Luke, do you want to get him in there one more time before the year is over? Oh, absolutely. He's going to get in there one more time before the year is over. And and, and we want it. We want look. The fans deserve a big fight. He deserves a big fight. The zone, at this point, after doing his last four fights, deserves a big fight. And we want to yeah. give him one. Jojo Diaz is fighting on the zone. Um, let's get it done. Let's do that fight. I, I mean, I think if it wasn't for the mandatory tonight, he would have had that big fight at this stage. Yeah, we had no choice but to do the fight tonight. And by the way, the dude we fought was competent. I mean, he's not, you know, it wasn't the most exciting fight on earth, but the guy knew what he was doing. There's a reason he had 46 wins. Tevin, uh, stylistically, you're a tough fighter. You're defensively sound. You're not easy to hit. Yeah. But today, we saw you get touched a little bit. What do you need to do to improve on See, this? See, that's report? what I'm talking about. <laughs> you say, when I first came out in the first four, five, six rounds, I boxed it my ass off, you know? If I did that all 12, then you would have been asking me, do you think um, you need to go in the, on the inside a little more? Now, when I go on the inside for a couple rounds and I get hit, it's boxing. We, we supposed to get hit. I don't know what boxes that don't get hit, you know? Um, are you probably counting on one hand how many times I got hit or two hands, um, but I don't know. This is this sport is crazy and yeah, I got hit, I supposed to, but I'm, I'm not lumped up, I'm not cut, I'm not bruised. And I haven't been bruised, I've probably never been bruised, I don't know. I've probably <laughs> never been, I've probably not been bruised, I promise. I, 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 I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard, it's, these fans, it's crazy nowadays, man. That's why I always I always say, man, when you dead and you going, the boxing fans gonna move on to the next per, to the next person. So go in there, do what you do, um, get paid, leave out with your morals, and go home to your family. So if the boxing fans want to see a bloody war, go support the people that's going to give you a bloody war. And the people that want to see defensive fighters, come see me. That's how I feel. And he, we had Pernell Whitaker. He had rest in peace, Pernell Whitaker on his shorts tonight. I thought there were moments in the fight. There was one point point where. He was against the ropes, and that kid threw about seven, eight punches in a row, and not one of them hit. And I actually applauded at that moment. I was the only person in the area applauding. I think I was surrounded by Mexican fans, <laughs> um, and we know what the kind of style they prefer. But there was some brilliant defense in the fight, and there was some brilliant boxing. I mean, there were times I would have preferred. I said this to him. I would have, you know, and I, I, we, we talk honestly, like we're family. You know, I said, like, I think you could have put the foot on the gas more at times. But you know what? When you're doing everything and it's working, and you almost go into like cruise control, like a car. And he was in cruise control, and he was dominating almost every round of the fight. And I'm not going to criticize a guy for winning almost every round of a fight. It's really hard, though. Like, fighters, people don't understand how it is when you're in there fighting. That shit look easy as shit on the outside, but it ain't, it's, not that, it's not as easy to look. They say, oh, you could hit with that shot. It ain't that easy. Like, that should be hard. <laughs> the way, the way it look like, it, it, it got two excellent fighters over there, Regis and my boy Devin. Like, they, they tell you that should be hard. Like, they be like, it's like playing chess. I'm a hell of a chess player. And when I'm on the outside, I'm like, damn, you can make that move. But when I'm playing, somebody tell me that, I'm like, I don't see that shit. Uh, Tammy, yes. You won most of the rounds. The fifth round being the lone exception, you lost that on all three cards. Was that just a round off? Because you, you seem to not use your legs as much and, and you kind of stood in there. Honestly, I don't even remember what the fifth round was. <laughs> all right. I, I don't know how to, I gotta go watch the fight. I don't know. <laughs> Andy, how, yeah. how realistic is a Golden Boy versus Matchroom card, maybe with uh, Canelo versus Andre, and then Tevin Farmer versus Joe well, we, Diaz? We want the Andre fight. I mean, I feel bad for Andre that Canelo doesn't want to seem to fight him, and maybe Golovkin as well, but he's just got to keep winning. Unfortunately, uh, the fight is no longer an undisputed fight because of the WBC franchise situation. And I think that maybe affected Andre's chances of getting that fight because an undisputed fight would have been very attractive. So, yeah, look, you know, Golden Boy and us obviously putting fights together all the time, and the Jojo Diaz fight, it, sh it shouldn't be difficult to make. I mean, Diaz wants the fight, um, Tevin wants the fight. I love the Bachel fight as well. Bob fancies that one. Um, always keeping him warm for Lomachenko, I don't know. But the Bachel <laughs> farmer unification is a great fight. Um, so is the Tank Davis fight, but, but certainly, I say, well, well give us what about my Marine? Who? What about my, my, my Marine? Who's the WBO? Yeah, Harry. Well. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd be a great fight. Marine. Let's do yeah, it. Let's do that as well. He's got a mandatory first. He's fighting a roach. Yeah. What? Uh, set October 9th. 
Yeah. Oh no, we we too active. We can't wait for that. <laughs> I'll be back in the ring by November. Andy, how much does it bother you that that WBC franchise, that Make Believe belt, is messing with your business? <laughs> I thought I saw Jose here today too, by the way. Um, it's great <laughs> if you're the franchise champion. You know, if you if you're a champion, and it's a way to avoid mandatories, and a way to fight whoever you want, and even better, if you get beat, you're still champion. Shouldn't the mandatory, shouldn't the number one contender be legitimately a really good fucking fighter? Yes. Like, shouldn't that be a really fucking good fighter so people want to see the number Dino's one contender? Chinese guy who's a mandatory for <laughs> <laughs> No, but, but that that's, gets, gets to this whole... I mean, the, th the thing about this franchise champion thing that troubles me in general is that it, 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 if, if the thing is, the system is working right, if the system is working right, you want to see the number one contender. He's earned the right to be there. When was the system working right? It hasn't worked right in, in forever. Yeah, but, but when you start making franchise champions and the organization itself is saying, oh, fuck our own mandatory, they're almost hitting the point where they're going to start destroying themselves. I mean, because at that point, what does their belt mean? Well, they have I'll, a, I'll give you an interim. I'll give you an interim, an interim, an interim I'll, champ, I'll give, yeah. franchise champ, golden champ, silver champ, Mayan champ, pearl fucking champ. Champ. pearl champ. American is a pearl champ. <laughs> <laughs> but but this is, I'll give you a perfect <laughs> example of a scenario, right? You've got, in my opinion, the best young fighter in the world over there in Devin Haney. Right? I mean, I mean. He's fighting, or due to fight, a final eliminator against Abdullayev. The only reason he wants to fight Abdullayev is to become mandatory for Lomachenko. Lomachenko, Lomachenko, once he gets beat by Luke Campbell, <laughs> might rematch. Well, then you can make it. Then, then you can no, but then Luke it. Campbell will make it. Ask Luke Campbell. Yeah, but the problem it. is, you're going to fight. What will happen is, in that situation, I don't blame, I don't blame you, yeah. but you're going to fight Comey, right. and then he's going to become the franchise champion. Right. Yes. So Devin never gets a shot at Lomachenko. Oh, well, so, that, number that one, may very well be because he signed with the wrong company. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> but in all seriousness, it makes you not want to fight a final. Why should Devin Haney fight a final eliminator? He's not you know, That's what I'm saying. I know, but it's the first time me and you have agreed so, for weeks. So don't know there's a final eliminator. Well, no, no, we're not going to bill it yeah, as but, anything. But, 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 but here's another weird thing that's about to happen. They're not going to recognize the BC regular belt as a unification because the franchise is right. Yeah. right because it's not the real champion. It's not the real, it's it's the real champion. champion. Wow. We could talk about it. These are things that go behind the scenes, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tevin just wants a burger. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Tevin, yeah. 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 Yeah.